What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina and we're headed out this morning to do some historical diving. Um, I showed you in a previous video all the local dive sites that we have here on the lake. We're actually going to go explore one now and see if we can find it. What we're looking for is an old house or an old set of ruins to a house that was built prior to our dam here on the lake being um, constructed. And it's in about 22 foot of water. Uh, what we know of now is just the old ruins, maybe just a foundation or just a pile of rubble. But we're going to go out and see if we can locate it. This house was probably built in the, I'm going to say mid to late 1800s. Of course, it was flooded over uh, in the late 1920s. I believe they completed construction here on the dam in 1928. So we're going to head out now, see if we can find it. And uh, so why don't you come along with us and see what we get into today.
All right, guys, so we just got finished up with our dive. I want to show you something real quick before I show you the neat items we found. First of all, we confirmed that the old ruins we were looking for were there. We found them in roughly 20 to 17 to 20 foot of water, somewhere right in there. Of course, the lake is down quite a bit right now. But I want to talk a little bit about these old ruins because I, I wasn't made aware of this until I got out of the water. My business partner, which is my father, we co-own Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina, which you see over here to your right. Um, this is the former Taylorsville Beach Marina, and we kind of show homage to that. We still got the old sign up. If you look way over here to your left, you're going to see uh, Oxford Dam or the upper side of Oxford Dam. And that dam was constructed in 1927 to 1928, I believe, when I actually finished the dam. And anything prior to those two years, everything that you see out here behind me was not actually a lake. It was a smaller uh, flowing river, if you will. And everything that's behind me also was farmland. Now, what my father told me after we got out of the water was, was that my great, great grandfather had about 100 acres here on this point that, that our shop sets on today. And we never even put two and two together that the old ruins that we were out here diving on had the possibility of being my great, great grandfather's old place. Um, he was a farmer and some of the stuff that you're going to see confirmed that's exactly what we found out there so we're about 95 percent sure that the old ruins we dove on today was my great great grandfather's which was really kind of cool for me to actually go down and see stuff uh, some of the things we found are from the late 1800s to the early 1900s and a lot of this stuff is fixing to be over 100 years old if not already over 100 years old so take a quick look show you some of the things we found here in the front i've got some old medicine bottles and we're going to look up the manufacturer of, of the glass here and see exactly how old it is. We found a ton of this metal stripping, and I'm going to assume the metal stripping, since it's got holes in it, it's what went to hold the boards together, maybe on an old barn or something like that. Um, we found this blade off an old plow, which just confirmed that we was on the old ruins, and this thing's really, really cool. You can see where it bolted on to the back of the tractor. Um, that, that's just really neat to find. We found some old molding. Out of inside of a house it actually still has the uh, original nails in it but you can see it's a trim molding that goes from where the wall meets to into the ground or the wall meets into the ceiling of the house um, found some old siding and we actually found a, a bunch of this we left a lot of it down there uh, we're thinking about maybe getting some of my great aunts and uncles down here kind of a reunion for them and maybe going down and bringing up we actually and I hope you get to see it in the video we actually found an old barn door or part of the old barn door down there so we might bring it up for them because you know that was their their family as well so hopefully we can get them in here and bring up some more of this and show it to them found some more old bottles here's an old metal bracket off of something maybe an old trailer or something like that and another really neat find i swim across this guy's probably in right at 20 foot of water it's an old horseshoe just confirming that my great great grandfather had horses out here and like i said all this was farmland prior to that dam over there being built so it's really cool to find this stuff down there. Uh, our initial goal during this dive was just to go down, confirm that there were some old ruins there, and we, we did that just right off the bat. But what was even neater is the fact that it was from my old families. So like I said, we're about 95% sure that it was my great, great grandfather's old place. So, guys, I really appreciate you coming along on this dive. This video is going to be the start to a brand new playlist where we do a lot of historical diving. We're gonna check out those maps I showed you in a couple videos ago, and we're gonna just go down and dive and see what we can find on a lot of these old ruins that's out here in the lake. So guys, I appreciate you coming along with us. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.